okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, we just left the car like three minutes ago, then got a notification on our phone from our security system that someone's trying to break in, or somebody broke in. Sven already ran back. Oh, please, please, please no. All of our things are in there. Everything. They broke the locks. Everything. What the f sh just happened? We are Julia and Sven with our dog Felix and currently travel all around Europe in our vintage van Daisy. Over the past years we've been to more than 60 countries, also some that are not considered to be very safe. But nothing has ever happened to us. We did wild camping all the time, we hitchhiked with more than 500 different strangers and did couch surfing almost every single day for two years straight. When we got our van we also installed a security system, just to be safe but we didn't really think we would ever need it. A few days ago, we reached the Mediterranean Sea in Italy and found one of the most beautiful camp spots we've ever been to. The sunsets here were just too nice to be true, but unfortunately, the beauty of this place is not the reason we will never forget it again. Right here, our van life nightmare came true. Someone broke into our van and stole all of our stuff. Okay, so the... the the, the door was closed. It was like that. There was a cover. And yeah, there was a cover and I saw immediately the center pedal was lying down there. We so didn't. we didn't do that. And we left the cover there. And then I saw, look at the, look at the locks. The sliding door can't be opened anymore. It's blocked. I don't know. This one, I locked it before and it's open. They just went in here. We left the chaos like this, kind of, but not exactly like this. So they threw this thing over there and they took out the center panel and then they grabbed everything they could. Everything they could. So um, my, my handbag was down here. <sighs> Luckily, there's nothing important basically in my handbag. My handbag is a trash bag. But Except there, our passports. There were our passports and Felix um, vaccination and travel pet, pet passport inside. So this is gun, but this is just paper. We are in Europe, it doesn't really matter. We can, can cross the borders with our ID cards. And for Felix, he, um, he will be fine. No one will check it, it's okay. Not even my wallet was in there. A few days ago, I put it somewhere else and I forgot about it. Oh, luckily, because otherwise the cards would be gone. Your ID. M my ID, yeah. That This is what I need to travel in Europe. Yeah, so fr from here only my handbag is missing. So it's not broken. They just like climbed inside the car from the other side and grabbed everything they could. And unfortunately, I already saw it. Our camera is gone. And... Um, oh my god, it's... Our ca full camera bag... My full backpack with all the camera stuff inside is gone. The drone is gone. The like camera. All of our, yeah, the camera, the, the, lenses. the lenses and our, like our like memory cards. And this is very... Mem... But I have everything imported. So, luckily, I don't know why. So these robbers are stupid. Because right next to my camera bag was my laptop and this thing is... <laughs> The so laptop is so expensive. It's so expensive and I'm so happy they didn't take this one. So I mean, happy. our camera gear is expensive too. Yes, but the, on the laptop there is everything on, from our stuff, like all of our documents and everything. So I'm so happy they didn't take it. And, and now we have to, I don't even know what else is missing because we didn't went inside, but I think they just grabbed it and they left immediately. There is another important bag in here, which I just threw somewhere with all of our old storage and our SD cards and stuff. And it would be so bad if it would be gone. I'm hoping they didn't take it because I think it was buried below all this stuff. Let's see. Thanks to our chaos. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, my tripod is still here. This one is also very expensive, like 700 euros or so. Was? <laughs> It's nice to have a tripod on, it's not good to not have a camera for it. <laughs> yes! Yes. Oh. We got it. We got it! All it was all the way like on the lowest point of the of everything. 
it's still here but I think my charging cable is gone for the laptop so it will be empty soon I will not use it <laughs> I cannot use it anymore so since the door is I mean now we can't open it from the outside anymore uh, let's climb in from from the back okay this is not very convenient because it's so high so I basically now have to do this okay there's um, lots of chaos here but we made this um, and it seems like the robbers or the robber we don't know how many persons uh, there were only accessed the front part so they didn't because of our chaos they didn't manage to go to the back and in here we have my iPad um, and we also have a second camera the one we are filming with right now they also didn't get it it was placed here and this is our <laughs> this is our hero we always complain how bad this thing is but it actually sent us a notification like you're getting someone broke into your car so we immediately ran back but the worst part of all of this is that the sliding door is now broken like i i don't know they they broke the whole lock I mean it's out from the outside but you can't use the handle anymore from the inside it's completely shut this is this is a big problem I mean how are we supposed to get in then we always have to climb from the front door over our stuff in into the back it will make everything so complicated we haven't checked we for completely forgot to check the glove box and we I mean, how, I mean, how? This is so easy to open. Why would you have to destroy it? <laughs> they didn't take anything. I was kaput. But it, they but broke it, but they didn't take anything. This is another document stuff. And this is all the papers for the bus. Yeah, well. Last time when Daisy broke down in Italy and we had to leave it, we forgot Felix's uh, health and vaccination card. That's why we had to get a second one. <laughs> but his old one is still here. So he, he still has one left, which is great. In case someone stops us, we have it. <laughs> this is good. This is very good. Felix looks so sad. Oh, Felicia, they stole your drinking bottle. And also some poop bags. Mm. And also your pet passport. Your second passport. Oh. And some treats were in some my bag. Treats. This is the worst of all. It's okay. It's good. It's good. So random and weird that they pressed the stand-up pedal un underneath our grey water tank. It was like completely locked and they pushed it like very hardly under this under this tank and I don't know why but I, I mean it, it must have taken them some time I think maybe this was like some kind of a marker for them so in case we wouldn't have returned that quickly and they left with our stuff and they came back and they saw okay the stand-up pedal is still there locked like we did it and everything else is like we left it so we can break into the bus again that's what I think. Yeah, I think they, they got interrupted by the, um, by the security um, sound and then by some people parking here next to us. Okay, so let's just start from the beginning. This is very, very bad. We wanted to go to the restaurant and... Just five minutes from here. Exactly. And then we saw when we left, there was a car standing on the street and it was just like standing right at the point where Daisy is and they were just standing there and looking at the car I guess uh, it was a young couple yes, it we was saw a young couple. L later on we saw it was a young couple but because they were standing there I turned on the security system so I turned it on and like one minute after it says it's turned on I got a notification on my watch that it detected like someone breaking into the car <laughs> And it never did that before, so we knew it's serious. So I immediately ran back to Daisy. At first I saw like everything looked good, all the windows are still there, not broken into. And I saw something under the bus and it was the stand-up pedal and I immediately thought, okay, that wasn't us, someone was inside the bus. And 
luckily there was there was a couple standing next to our car which just was getting ready to go to the beach and they were Italians and I asked them if they saw anything they said no there was just a family leaving the place uh, I, I also saw it like a family with two children uh, calmly driving off but I guess they didn't do anything probably <laughs> the thieves or the thief probably left because the family came or like the other cars came and our, our, and alarm. our security system was ringing all the time wee, 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 wee. Yes. <laughs> and I, I asked them if they could help us uh, like calling the police I called the police and uh, luckily they talked to them and explained what happened in Italian so now we have to leave this place and go to the Carabinieri in the, in the city here and I guess we have to explain everything what, like what happened and what they took and stuff like that that's what I think so we gotta get going right my sister came up with the idea to check the uh, trash cans in the close area because maybe they threw away um, my handbag because there was nothing inside nothing use useful for a thief but of course it's my handbag <laughs> I would like to have it back so the robbery happened at 1 p.m. and now it's almost 7 and in the meantime we went to the police with the police because when we were standing here a random police car just passed by and Julia saw it and she rushed on the streets waving to it come back come back and then we told them everything um, and they said okay we will bring you to the Carabinieri in the next city and then we went there and well I think we spent like two hours in this building and the outcome is that we filled out some formulas, some documents. But to be honest, I don't think that we will ever see our stuff again. The police officers also said that this happens quite often. So I guess they just can't do anything about it. In summary, the thieves or thief stole our camera with two lenses, our drone with two batteries, lots of lots of storage devices, lots of cables and stuff like that, our passports some power banks, <laughs> some power banks, Felix drinking bottle <laughs> so some random stuff as well but in total this makes up an amount of around 6000 euros which is very bad and we don't have any insurance for those things that got stolen so it's our own fault but yeah that we don't have an insurance but that we got robbed not really so <laughs> Of course, these are just materialistic things that can be replaced one day, hopefully. And luckily, nothing happened to us. Imagine we would have left Felix in the car. Sometimes we do that when we go to restaurants because uh, he can sleep so much better in here and compared to a restaurant. And it was just around the corner. Um, I don't know what would have happened because maybe they would have done something to him. I don't know. <laughs> and of course, this was very unfortunate, but no matter where you go in the world, there, there are always some bad people in every country. Um, and this will not change our perception of Italy, of course. We still love it here. Uh, we will just be more careful in the future. This was definitely a lesson. But from now on we will definitely have a different feeling whenever we leave Daisy behind. Not just because these people stole our stuff, but also because they went into our house, they invaded our privacy, went through our stuff and it just feels very very bad. It's a it's a very unpleasant feeling. Imagine someone would break into your house. We have everything we need every day in here. This is our whole life. Oh, yeah. Let's see how it will be in the future. We will see. <laughs> And I think what makes this feeling even worse and more unpleasant is that these people were obviously watching us before that. Yeah. So they they quickly got to our car just when we left and they stole everything as fast as they could and then they left again. And this is a very small street right here where we are and we obviously saw them after it happened and before it happened and we didn't notice that these were the thieves they got our stuff and entered our private space 
and this is an even worse feeling I think because you feel kind of vulnerable and you cannot do anything about it I don't like it I would <laughs> I'm very looking forward to leaving this space my mom said that she thinks that these people were watching us for a couple of days already but I don't think so because we switched up places every other day and I think they were just driving around on the street maybe they're from this area and checking out cars uh, like camper vans there are some other camper vans around and we have a German number plate so we, we are not from here we are on vacation so we might have like cameras or something like that with us um, and I think when they saw us and we were here all the, all day all day long so they couldn't get to the car they must have waited somewhere but I didn't see anyone so someone was probably watching us the whole time and when we left, I mean, this, these were like three, four, five hundred meters, not a long distance, when the alarm system went off. Just a matter of a couple of minutes. It, this is so crazy. Creepy. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> oh God! Maybe someone's in the bush over, here, over there. Maybe someone is still watching us. <laughs> this was definitely not the video we planned for this week. No. <laughs> we actually already edited another one and uploaded it as well but we will post it at another point of time well i guess that's just what it is <laughs> that's how do you say it life is what happens while you make plans and exactly yeah yeah we hope this video didn't make you feel sad that was definitely not our goal by making this video we just want to show that always be safe have a good security system have a dog that protects you or maybe tries to protect you right now he digs <laughs> in peace <laughs> anyways we will try to stay as positive as possible we don't have a solution yet what we will do but we will figure it out soon and we will keep you updated our initial plan from here was to go to the Amalfi Coast my favorite place in Italy but now that our camera is stolen, it's such a pity because the Amalfi Coast is so, so beautiful. Yep. I, I'm, I'm sad we, we just can't capture this beauty. Have to get a new camera. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Have to get some new locks and a new security system as well. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Maybe it's not the positive one like we used to post, but our videos are always drama. Drama? <laughs> yeah. But this one is the worst. The worst <laughs> drama so far. If you want to support us, like this video, subscribe to the channel and... Share it with your friends. <laughs> exactly. That helps a lot. So, so we will see you next week. Bye-bye.